Hey guys, salut, this is Alex. Today we are gonna permanently tattoo our chef knife blade. Using only a 9 volt battery and some salt. Simple, right? This episode right here is the reason why I started this. This whole series about chef knife makeover. This is the reason why. This is my chef knife makeover. How to customize a chef knife, new design, new shape, new handle, new edge, and of course, new style. To catch a specific episode, hit the link. Viewer's discretion is advised. In this series, we are using dangerously sharp and stupidly powerful tools. So, would you ever want to use your fingers or your eyes in the future? wear pro pro protections. The tattoo process we are using today is called metal etching and it's extremely powerful. Like for example, you remember in the previous episode uh, when I tried to drill bigger holes into the blade, I literally broke a titanium or whatever drill bit. But with just a 9 volt battery and some patience, I can literally tear it off design. First off, I'm covering the blade with tape. Any tape works as long as it's sturdy and waterproof. If you still have the handle on your knife, which is most probably the case, then leave a small part uncovered as close as possible to the handle. Then with a utility knife, I'm cutting out my design, which is very subtle and intricate, so yeah, I'm just writing my name on it. Metal etching. Fill up a glass jar with water and add two tablespoons of salt per liter. You also need a sacrificial piece of the same metal. In my case, I'm using a stainless steel fork from which I scraped any varnish off. Dip the blade in it. Warning, only the design and the tape covered part must be submerged. Connect an alligator clip to a dry uncovered part of your blade and another one to the sacrificial piece. For the record, I bought a dozen of those clips online for just a few bucks. Now place this setup outside and then using a fresh 9 volt battery connect the piece to negative and the blade to positive. The reason why we place it outside is safety. There is a small gas emission which is not desired indoors. You can tell it's working good when you've got bubbles going on. 15 minutes are usually enough for a small design with a brand new 9 volt battery. Right, so this studio update is one of the most convenient I have in this studio. Look at this. I have this tube shelves, stainless steel tubing shelf over my sink. So whenever the water is dripping, directly in my sink. And I also use this shelf to hang uh, all my saucepans and all my frying pans and walk with hooks. If you guys remember well, this is one thing that I designed at the very beginning of the studio. So it is great in Waco, things happen. All you need is patience. Convenient to the max. And that's the end of this studio update. Out of the bath, give it a quick rinse and remove all that tape. You can see the design is now encrusted in the blade. I like how dark and rough it is. You know, having my name on it is cool, no doubt, but I say we take it to the next level. Ah, I say we tattoo the whole blade. Again, cover the blade with tape. Cut off your design and proceed with metal etching. A quick notice that 9 volt battery is not powerful enough to tattoo the whole blade in one go. I'm doing it a small surface at a time, about 2 inches square. I definitely admit it took me some time, but at the end of the day, this is what I got. A custom blade with my own tattoos on it. 
Of course, I made it very personal. This is the first Alex design, then a YouTube logo, then there is this skull to remind me I should hustle in life, and also this date, which is when I got the keys to Le Studio, where I am doing this video right now. Speaking of keys, there is one key right here, which is a symbol of control of our destiny. Finally, there's an anchor to keep my feet on the ground and also a heart, because this whole story is just about love. And now I can proudly say this is my chef knife. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, DIY action. I really loved uh, making my blade personal. If you did like it, then give it a thumbs up, like it and share that over your social media, spread it like butter. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel because next episode will be about how to sharpen your custom chef knife blade. Ding, dong, ding, ding. It never ends. <laughs> if you want to see something completely different, then watch this episode of the Tartine Odyssey Open Face Sandwiches where I made a delicious deli ham, asparagus and chervil tartine. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Salut.